Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is my pleasure to present uh, our talk at the second European Conference on the Structural Integrity of Additively Manufactured Materials. Today I am going to talk about the design of 3D printed polymer polymeric tribological units made of very resistant, resistant composite materials based on advanced high temperature thermoplastic matrices. So this talk will be presented on behalf of the six persons and uh, we do represent an uh, institute of strength physics and material science of Siberian branch of Russian Academy of Sciences and National Research Tomsk Polytechnic University. In fact, uh, polymeric materials in friction pairs are used in contact with metal or uh, ceramic counterparts, that is, that, is, that is done traditionally. So, for such a tribological pairs, uh, it is possible to exclude or minimize adhering, to reduce weight, to implement operation in the absence or lack of lubricating medium, to reduce the noise level, to ensure operability in aggressive environment, uh, to provide the shock damping, etc. However, uh, there are significant disadvantages for such a friction pairs, which include the high cost of ceramic components, so development of process of tribal corrosion of the metal surface and intense wear of polymer surface. Also, the uh, brittle damage of ceramics may happen. In this particular study, we are aimed at solving an actual problem. So we want to deal with design of 3D printed or 3D printed polymer composite materials for a friction units made of polymer polymers, polymeric mating uh, mating materials, and we are going to use advanced thermoplastic matrices that are on demand in aerospace industry, in transportation, in medicine and uh, for sure, um, first of all, uh, because of the actuality, novelty and advanced possibilities, we are interested in manufacturing them with the use of additive technologies or additive manufacturing. So, in this concern, the aim of the work is to develop scientific grounds of the development of their development. So, we want to deal with computer aided design, so to deal with the problems of the fabrication, uh, structure, and properties, uh, characterization, and monitoring of mechanical behavior under loading. In this study, uh, we did use two, kind, uh, two kinds of, of polymers. So, first one is polyacer acer ketone. So, uh, if, if, if to have a look at this a pyramid of, uh, of uh, structural polymers, you can find it at the top of, of, of this uh, construction. So, it possesses a, a, a unique and unique combination of various physical and mechanical properties. So, it is one of the most promising structural materials and also it is of key interest for additive manufacturing. So, also it, it, it is resistant to long-term operation at low and high temperatures and uh, uh, without any uh, enforcement or uh, adding uh, solid lubricant materials, it has very high friction coefficient. So, another one, uh, uh, another polymer is not uh, a high temperature indeed, but if, if to talk about use in uh, biological applications, so it has a long history. Uh, for uh, artificial joints. So, it is ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. So, it also possesses a number of unique properties uh, like low friction coefficient, uh, biocompatibility, high wear and chemical resistance, uh, including aggressive environment. 
And or for this particular reason, uh, this kind of polymer is used in friction units of machines and vehicles and also in medicine for manufacturing of orthopedic implants. So, uh, the key technological problem with the processing of ultra high molecular weight polyethylene is about zero value of melt flow index. So, it is because, because of the long length of polymer chains. So, it limits uh, the, the processability by typical methods uh, for thermoplastic polymers like screw extrusion, injection molding and so on. And also for this particular reason it can be hardly processed by fused deposition modeling. So, uh, it is necessary to uh, develop the uh, composites based on this type of polymer in order to provide, to increase its extrudability. So, uh, in the light of above set, so uh, we are going to design a polymer polymeric friction pass uh, where one component uh, is going to be soft while the other hot. So, for sure, it is in terms of polymeric materials. So, and in order to solve, uh, in order to develop such uh, friction units, uh, it, is, it is necessary to solve uh, some, some individual problems uh, that can be decomposed in, uh, as several multidisciplinary ones. So, and among them is modeling of friction and wear processes. So, it is a design uh, of uh, feedstock fabrication. It is study on hot sintering and 3D printing and a comparison between them. It is attestation of structure and properties and finally it is monitoring of deformation behavior under tribological law. So, uh, in order to, to fabricate, in, uh, in order to ma manufacture uh, the specimens, so we used uh, the powder uh, of polyacer acer ketone by Victrex, so that is the dimension of, uh, of the particles. We use carbon fibers in order to reinforce it, uh, and the length of the fibers was about just 45 micrometers. Uh, also, we use uh, the ultra high molecular weight polyethylene powder uh, produced by uh, Silenis, and so the mole molecular weight was uh, 4.5 millions, and it was uh, uh, the dimension of individual particles of from 5 to 10 micrometers, uh, and uh, th those particles were uh, slightly agglomerated. And also we use a polypropylene powder with rather high ML flow index in order to modify uh, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene uh, in order to provide the flow ability. So next slide illustrates the equipment used for uh, preparation of the specimens. So for the sake of comparison we use a hot pressing machine by Gotech. So, you see it on the left and on the right you see a, a machine uh, that was uh, invented, designed and uh, used for the, for, the, for the studies in Tom's Polytechnic University. That is a laboratory scale 3D printer. So, it, it employs the fused deposition modeling technique. So, you see the appearance and you see the schematic of, of this machine. So, since we are talking about the uh, wear resistance, so we used uh, the tripometer uh, of this particular type that employs a uh, pin on disk scheme. So, in order to estimate wear rate or wear intensity, we use a, a stylus profilometer. And here on the right, you see the parameter for the testing. And that was, that was uh, the, uh, the principle how to, how to estimate the wear of 
polymeric specimen uh, while its rotation over the po uh, polymeric counterpart. So next slide shows uh, the uh, supermolecular structure of uh, Two, uh, uh, two types of, of polymers uh, or polymer composites that is the neat polyester ether, ether ketone uh, uh, at the center figure B it is a composite uh, loaded with 38% uh, of carbon fibers produced by uh, hot pressing and uh, on the right you see the uh, I mean composite of the same uh, composition but produced or manufactured by fused deposition modeling and so you you can see that the structure uh, on the on the right is uh, is, is dense and uh, so the distribution of the of the of the uh, fibers uh, is uniform so uh, at the bottom of the slide you see the uh, micrographs for uh, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene that is for neat a polymer. This one is a composite uh, with a mixture of this polypropylene, 28 percent, and uh, on the right the same composition, so produced by a fused deposition modeling, and in the center produced by hot press. Next slide illustrates the data or results of mechanical tests and what is of particular importance first of all for ultra high molecular weight polyethylene that uh, at the use of fused deposition modeling we were able to increase uh, significantly or noticeably uh, the elastic modulus so the yield strength uh, is also higher than in contrast uh, with uh, hot pressing so the tensile strength and uh, elongation or value of elongation in break so most of these mechanical parameters are higher if we used fuse deposition modeling for such type uh, of, of, of a composite. So uh, a little bit similar situation is for uh, using of fuse deposition modeling for the composite of polyester acer, acer ketone field or loaded with 30% of carbon fibers. So you see the value of uh, elastic modulus that is above in contrast with hot pressing nearly equal values for the tensile strength and also the value of elongation and break is about 1% higher. So next slide illustrates uh, the data on tribological test. So we used a pin on disk scheme and uh, on the left you, you see uh, the graphs for uh, friction coefficient and so we test uh, in dry uh, or, or under dry sliding and also uh, uh, under uh, water lubrication and you see that uh, under underwater lubrication so the friction co the friction coefficient is is uh, much lower but what is of, of particular interest that also uh, specimen uh, prepared by uh, fuse deposition modeling possesses uh, the low friction coefficient in contrast with hot pressing but here uh, it is nearly the same and on the right you see the data for the uh, wear rate for both specimen and also you see for uh, dry sliding so it is nearly the same level of uh, wear intensity or wear factor and uh, practically no wear is registered for the uh, dry uh, for the water 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 lubrication there so it just illustrates it just explains that uh, the the parts produced by fused deposition modeling might be efficiently used for solving uh, or for such a, for such an application so next slide illustrates the uh, micrographs of uh, wet drag surface topographies uh, also for for various conditions of testing and what is of particular interest that uh, so for sure for the condition of uh, uh, using a uh, water lubrication so and uh, absence of wear we uh, register just absence of uh, uh, anywhere traces uh, on the sliding surface but uh, 
but in the case of uh, dry sliding you see that the, uh, the temperature is increased and it gives it gave rise to some melting and uh, plastic flow of the surface layer and the slides of such a plastic uh, plastic deformation is uh, or are observed on the surface but anyway uh, the result is uh, is uh, I mean, it's positive. So such uh, materials might be employed for uh, manufacturing of friction pairs. So, uh, by the way, of summarizing this brief uh, report, uh, so the scientific novelty of the study uh, is related to generalization uh, of irregularities on increasing the resistance of polymer polymeric tribological units under various load speed modes of tribological testing. So we are and we were oriented towards development of methods for predicting properties of composites, uh, design of or constructing wire models for such a polymer polymeric friction units based on advanced uh, thermoplastic models and some of results are briefly illustrated on this slide. So thank you very much for your attention and some additional information uh, may be found in our now uh, relevant papers. Thank you very much.